The Relative Bearing Indicator, or RBI, is used to navigate with reference to NDBs. It can mess with your head if you're not careful, due to the fact that the compass card under the needle does not update with the heading changes of the aircraft. We are currently established on a 030 heading, with the Bravo Romeo India NDB tuned in and identified. The ADF needle on the RBI always points at the NDB. The needle is currently pointing to 030 on the card. As you can guess from the name, this instrument displays the relative bearing, which is the bearing of the NDB with reference to the nose of the aircraft. So step number one in tracking anything is asking yourself, okay, where the fuck is the beacon? So what the needle is showing is that the NDB is presently 30 degrees to the right of the nose. We know that our heading is 030 degrees, so if you wanted to track directly to the beacon, we would need to turn 30 degrees to the right and fly that heading, in a zero wind situation of course. So that would give us a heading of 060 to the station, although it's actually more like 070 now because I've been talking too long and the relative bearing has moved another 10 degrees to the right, so you can see now it's pointing closer to 040. Anyway, that's way too basic for us here. Who do you think I am, Captain Joe the FO? Let's take a look at this old FAA question. If on a magnetic heading of 030 degrees, and receiving this ADF indication, to what heading should the aircraft be turned to intercept the 150 bearing from the station at a 30 degree angle? A. 210 degrees B. 180 degrees or C. 120 degrees our clearance is to intercept and fly a bearing from the NDB. Our current heading is 030, and the ADF needle on the RBI is pointing to 045 degrees. This matches the situation given in the question. The bearing to the station is therefore 075, using the technique that we used to figure out the bearing to the station earlier. To work out the bearing that we're currently on from the station, we need to reverse that by 180 degrees, which would be 255 degrees. You could also mentally transfer the ADF arrow across the direction indicator. This can help you confirm that you were correct. So if this is the NDB, and we're on the 255 bearing from the NDB here, the 150 bearing that we need to intercept is over here. So we need to fly somewhat eastbound to capture that. If we want a 30 degree intercept, we therefore need a heading of 120, which is 30 degrees less than the 150 bearing that we're trying to intercept. The other options, 180 and 210 degrees, don't intercept the 150 bearing at all. So let's make the turn and see what happens. We are now established on a heading of 120. Now we have to keep an eye on the needle, as it moves to indicate the position of the NDB from the aircraft. This time, we're interested in the tail of the needle, as we want to track away from the NDB. Remember that this needle was telling us what the relative bearing is. With a current heading of 120, we therefore need the tail of the needle to be 30 degrees to the right of the nose, which will put us on a 150 bearing from the station. So there's the needle, now we can turn to a heading that will maintain this track. It's zero wind, so it should be about 150. Here's the same scenario using the RMI needle on the G1000. The RMI needle does a similar job, but it's overlaid on a display of the aircraft's heading. This makes it easier to identify the bearing to and from the station. Here's where we started before, with the NDB 45 degrees right of the nose. We can immediately see that the head of the needle is pointing to 075 on the heading indicator. If we look at the tail of the needle, we can quickly note that we're on the 255 bearing from the NDB. To intercept the 150 bearing, we can see that we need to drag the tail around to 150 by turning this way, so it's much easier to identify the 120 heading required.
As we continue on this heading, the tail is swinging round. We need to keep it going until it approaches the 150 bearing on the heading indicator, and then turn right to maintain this indication. So here it comes, so we're making the right turn now, and then we just maintain this heading in zero wind.